Hello, my name is Louis Thierry. I'm the founder and CEO of Farm Hub, and we're making fields measurable. So agriculture is an enormous industry, of course. Farmers in the US alone take home about $400 billion a year, but it needs to get even bigger. By 2050, we have to increase production by 70% to meet a growing world population. That needs to happen despite droughts, despite climate change, and despite the fact that we're out of arable land. <clears throat> Fortunately, we've only begun to start applying the best of our modern technology to agriculture, our ability to process data and make good decisions. Data is valuable, and it is the future of the industry. Leaders agree. Monsanto acquired Climate Corp for nearly a billion dollars in 2013, and investment in the space has gone from 20 from 150 million in 2012 up to 1.8 billion dollars in 2014, even more this year. But if data is the future of agriculture, where is the data coming from? Currently, tractors and combines are where all the good data is coming from. And we're starting to use more satellites and drones, but all these devices have the same shortcoming. When the device isn't there measuring, there's no data, and you can't make decisions. It's the same as running a company using an annual balance sheet when you could be using up to the hour income statements. And the most important thing happening when the tractor isn't there is weather. Weather determines everything from your plant date, your harvest date, your yields, your pest and disease pressure. Everything is weather. And currently, the best way of doing weather is interpolating from existing infrastructure. And that's good enough for some applications. It's good, not good enough for agriculture. It's not good enough to tell a farmer whether or not they can run a tractor in a field. It's not good enough to help them make crop decisions. It's certainly not good enough to help us increase production by 70%. So we need to deploy more weather stations. And currently, the weather station market is dominated by dinosaurs. They're companies of another generation that believe in just selling a piece of hardware. They're not seeing that the value is not the hardware, it's the data coming from it and making it useful. I've seen this across the industry. After working on a farm, I helped start a community called FarmHack. And what, we focused, what I saw with this community was lots of farmers trying to innovate, trying to push the envelope, but not getting the products that enabled them to actually be better. And that's why I started this company, and that's why we created the Field Beacon. The Field Beacon is a fully integrated weather station. It has all the sensors you need from wind, rain, light, even has a camera on it and a lightning sensor. And it, on top of that, it runs off of the battery and solar panel. And what we really stand out is the fact that we help you get the data out, out of there. We include this cellular, cell, uh, cellular module, but also a service that gives you the connectivity in the field and also a cloud database that interacts with the device, harvests the data, and provides a useful data API and an app. The open data API is really critical to our go-to-market because we're going to market by partnering with existing analytic companies. These guys are making big data products for thousands, tens of thousands of farmers. They're helping them decide how much to irrigate, how much fertilizer, how much seed. But they're doing this by combining many different layers of data. What we're allowing them to have is a really, really great weather layer. They can deploy at any granularity that they need. They can deploy thousands of stations overnight because we're giving them the infrastructure and the capability to get the data into the cloud easily. So in one sentence, we're bringing hyper-local weather data as a service to these guys. We've had great traction going this route. We have $130,000 in revenue and great strategic partnerships with Farmer's Edge, the second fastest growing company in Canada, and Dutch Sprouts, who's prepaid 100 stations that they'll be deploying in Kenya next fall. We've done this with less than $250,000 in funding. We have a great technical team that's gotten the product this far and that's gotten us the traction we have so far. And our advisors bring decades of experience in the agricultural industry and the network and the introductions that we need to get this business started. This June is very exciting for us. We're delivering a bunch of these partnership beta units to our partners who will be trying out the, the hardware. We're opening our seed round of $1.2 million, which is going to get us to next growing season where we'll be fully scaled in manufacturing and starting to develop our weather analytics. That's it from me. My name's Louis Thierry. I'd love to chat, chat about the weather with you later. Thank you.